Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Carthage campaign in Rome 2 Total War. Um, I accidentally started recording the previous episode and realized my audio was all kinds of messed up. Um, you didn't miss anything. I hired a pikeman. Uh, I'm hoping to get a number of those because, let's see, um, hmm. I don't know if they're any better than African pikemen, which is what I can get when I upgrade this one more. Um, actually, let's find out using this handy dandy feature that will hopefully load. Unfortunately, my computer is, you know, just a magical pile of problems at times. Okay, African pikemen. 38, 24, 10, Actually, I can probably find out because basic pikemen will probably be. Uh, nope. Well, let's see. They're worse than Spartan pikemen. Porkmen. Um. And worse than thorax pikemen. So they're probably pretty. Okay, let's check the numbers one more time. Spartan pikemen. 38. Morale, health, armor. Um, so they're they're about the same. Um, I think those kinds of pikemen are generally better. Ah, that's all that's left of the Sesatani. Can I even can I technically make them my client state? Even though they're my just. Time is better spent feasting and hunting than listening. So be quick what? with chattering. Oh, it's an army. It's an army up there fighting against um, the Galaci, I guess. Or the Ar Aravaki. Aravachi. I don't know. I don't have, know how you pronounce all this stuff. Um, but, let's see, how much money do I have? Enough to upgrade something? Let's upgrade Arce, because it'll give us food, growth, olive oil, yeah. Um, Alright, um, what have I got? Could I technically recruit anything nice here? Um, some Iberian things. Uh, da, da, da. All right, let's go to the next turn. Oh crap! And the Romans did what I knew they were gonna do. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Mmm. That does not give me a warm, fuzzy feeling. You look right there at the top of the screen, they're marching what appears to be a full stack towards Carolus. Mercenaries. That's good. That brings down um, upkeep costs, but what I really want is... Oh, I can. I, I could have built a siege workshop. Well, assuming Carolus lives... Alright, what do we got? What do we got? We got an army that is a crap ton of Hastati, and we got a fleet that's five guys can't reach them yet. Can I get more pikemen? Hoplites. Okay. We... Alright. This is gonna be risky, but I'm gonna try to get this fleet into Carolus. Excuse me. Um, uh, yes, this is what I need, right there, and then, um, let's do that, uh, this army needs to retrain, although I think I can technically attack that army, but, aha, excellent, that's what I need. Alright, so, we'll keep the fleet in Carolus. Can I recruit mercenary units? I can. I can also recruit those. I can raise another fleet, technically. I can raise an army. Ooh. Where did all of my food go? That's not good. Alright, so I'm gonna... Oh, right, I'm at war with you people. Um, do you want to make peace? Because I want to make peace. Are you brave or foolish? Okay, so that army's gonna stay there. 
Um, what I want to do is get my income up enough that I can get a third army, and hopefully a fourth army, and get them down into North Africa, start conquering the Garamantes, um, and the, you know, Nesimones, Saracenia. Um, maybe set some up, set some up some client states. Grammar is not my strong point, it seems. Visky, Rome. Speak if you must. Nobody wants a peace treaty. Although the next person to offer me a peace treaty will probably get it. Welcome, speak. Except the Celtici, because if I make peace with them, that doesn't mean that my people. client states will. On that note, Guy Tool, you want to join some Come wars? We are men of words, and so serve our people. Doesn't like me very much. How about you, Libya? You want to join my wars? Because uh, if you join, if they join a war against you, um, they'll like. I mean, if they if they join a war against your enemies, they'll like you more. Also, you know, it's, it helps to have the extra bodies. Um, ugh, useless. All right. So you guys are here. Nothing you can do about Rome, unless, of course, I want to try to like pull a a Hannibal and march all the way around, which I could, honestly, I could. And if things go horrible in Corsica, then I will. Um, ooh, yes, this is what I need to do. You need to get over here and poison that army, because... Alright. You get on the boats. Said, get on the boats. What is this? There we go. I want hourly patrols. All right, their fleet can't get to me over here, so I'm just going to get as close as possible and pray to God. Okay. Um, and I think I'm going to save my money for like emergency mercenaries or something. Uh, plus I can't really upgrade anything else. All right, let's go to the next turn. Um, yeah. This is probably going to be a very big battle at Carolus. Nope. Oh. Thank Jeebus. Thank Jeebus. Oh. They just besieged it. That I can handle because they, as the besiegers, are, <coughs> excuse me, are taking attrition. Honestly, I'm going to do nothing with this foreign trader. Just lands, foreign trader. Yes, do nothing. Um, whatever. That's something I'm not going to worry about right now. Um, can't make it like that. Double time. Okay, sometimes... The interface can be a little messy. Okay, attached army. What? Do do you wanna do you wanna freaking? What are you talking about? Okay. Would you kindly? Thank you. Okay. Bizarre. Where's their fleet? It probably ran away. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab my little spy. Ah, crap. He can't reach. Oh, well. I'll put him into his or her into her little stance. But this... Let's see. This uh, gives me less morale, but not too worried. And I have this handy-dandy pikeman that I can just park in front of the walls. All right, you're taking attrition. I'm not taking attrition. Um, you're there. Ready for Kill them. Yeah. <laughs> I made my general level up. My lord. Uh, da, da, da. 
Let's upgrade. What I need is food. And that's going to give me two food. Okay. So I... How are we doing on public order? Atrocious. Great. Hopefully that's just from conquest and cultural differences. Yeah. Gonna have to put down a rebellion here at some point. <coughs> okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. Way to get money. Uh, not money, food. Um, got that. Hire some mercenaries? No, I can't because I'm in Force March. Uh, you can hire people, but you shouldn't. Uh, let's go in and. Uh, how old are you? 56? Go ahead. Secure promotion. Whatever. Um, Alright, and I think we're going to have a big old battle here. Does this fleet need to be here? Eh, it's more skirmishers. It'll be helpful. You guys stay and retrain. Alright, next turn. This is going to be a battle. What? Really? Really, Rome? Oh, you are a disgrace. Well, there's only one thing to do in a situation like this, and that's poison the crap out of them until they die. By the flame, I will have my lord sorcerers prepare special excruciation. All powers be one, until our next meeting. Not going to call my allies because a lot of them wouldn't, and that would break the treaties, and I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to raise an army in Carthage because that's really the only city they can get to. And if Livia wants to join, that'd be nice. Silk trade, yay, I got money. Alright, and I'm going to use that money to poison the Romans. Ah, that's satisfying. Now, I believe she's high enough level that, okay, they can only move half their range, which means at the, oh god, in heaven. I think I'll actually do better just poisoning these troops until the reinforcements arrive, and then, um, ah, crap. Let's tear this down and build a, um, a temple, otherwise we're gonna have a revolt, and it's gonna be ugly. <sighs> Lord. I'm having trouble, like, finding places to recruit things. Alright, so... They can be there in a couple turns. This place... You need to recruit. Yeah, call it three ballistas, sure. And then, honestly, I'm just going to abandon Taraco. Uh, then... One turn, and then since it's being torn down, I'll, I'll need to do that. Okay, let's raise an army of. I'm the Barkid Dynasty. Yes. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, African War Elephants. Yes, I want that. All right. Um. Give me some... Great. It's a start. Um, gonna have way too many armies and not enough... Uh, not enough money. Alright, so you honestly can go back here to help put off that rebellion. You stay and retrain. Gonna take a couple more poisonings before we're ready to kill them. Carthage, um, just, you know, hold on. Libya, do you want to be a bro and join my war against Garamantia? What about you, Guy Tuli? Do any of you want to be freaking helpful little client states? Okay, Nova Carthago, you, you are cool. You are awesome. And may the Peace treaty. No. That's just great. Greetings. Do not That's what I get for breaking uh, peace treaties, I suppose. Okay. Hate my guts. Do you 
you want a trade agreement or anything? No. Alright. Let's see what the next turn brings. Uh, oh wow, that's very damaged top light. Let's see what Rome does. He's bringing in more armies. Is he still in... If he's not in fortified stance anymore, I might... If he feels... Hmm. I'm going to kill these Romans. Somehow, some way, these Romans are going to die. And good that they're... Oh, good. A slave revolt. Oh, good. The entire Sessa... Oh, God. Raise an army at the following settlement. Taraco. No. To hell with you and everything you stand for. So, the Sessitani are currently starving to death, um, which is nice. Uh, fortunately, my army is recovering, and it has siege equipment. Unfortunately, well, yeah. All right, let's see, let's get a poisoning in there. Six, good, good, good. So, this army is approaching uselessness now are really damaged. How can I serve Should I go for them? What's your range? You could back them up, but there's only five of you. Yes, I'm going to wait one more turn there. I live to serve the mighty um, now what it, uh, I've got a couple options. I could raise a spy here, because I don't think either of them are in besieging range. Well, he might be. He's not. He could get into reinforcement range. So that's two turns. Do I have space for another spy? I do. Or I could build up this, which is to defend Carthage, although probably by the time Gonomantia gets there... Actually, no, I don't even think Gonomantia can get there because they don't have military access. Okay, that's what we'll do for now. Let's see. From the looks of it, we're going to end the turn and then see what happens and then I'll end the episode and all the fights will be on the next episode. Uh, yeah, that's the way it's looking. So we're going to get one or two more turns of training in here, completely, you know, wrecking my income. Um, they're going to attack us probably at the end of this turn if they can reach. Um, fortunately, they are dying, and I have a nice big city uh, with, you know, decent garrison to complement my own men. Uh, Carthage, Carthage is doing all right. Oh, crap. Uh, it can wait another turn. Yeah? Or how about I just... Yeah, it can wait another turn. Um, Alright. Let's end the turn and see what happens. Prepare for damn destruction. Great. <coughs> that is great. The slaves are going to mess me up in Iberia, uh, which is exactly what I need. Um, hopefully they revolted near the walled city and not on that island there because I can't defend. Okay, Taraco. Oh no, they revolted over... Ooh. Oh my, this is... Ooh, this is interesting. This is very interesting. They're over here. Hmm. And they're gonna take... Ooh. That. That is interesting. Alright, here we go. Let's do that. Because these guys are not on the same side, and I don't think they can back each other up. So, what was I gonna do? I was going to build a temple here. That's what it was build a temple, and then please tell me I have enough money to poison them. 
I do. But that's the last of it. it is done. So, oh yes, we are going to go destroy us some Romans. Uh, how's the fleet? Can it reach them? No. All right. Uh, I'm going to put a cut in here, and next turn, we are going to crush us some Romans, and probably crush us some Iberians and some slaves as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all next time.